Hello everyone, Wanda the Foiling Rock Lady here, and I want to show you guys some fun stuff. Again, I got from the Dollar Tree. Um, these are stickers, and they are so stinking cool. <laughs> um, they're kind of puffy stickers, but if you use resin, or even if you don't, you know, uh, mixed media can be textured and tall. So anyways, these are ready to go. I mean, right? So, if you're like me and you have all these rocks made with your backgrounds ready, you know, um, just painted and ready to go, and you haven't done your kindness rocks for a while and you need to make a drop, you know, because it's almost Valentine's Day, <laughs> get busy. Go to the Dollar Tree, grab some stickers, and work it out. I mean, it couldn't get any more simple, right? So, let's stick some stickers on some rocks, guys. This will be a quick fun, thought-provoking venture. So, heart to heart. Isn't that cool? It's kind of clear. Anyways, you can put them on, you know, whatever you think. I kind of like this one here. Put it down there. Easy peasy. One done. Let's see, I love this love heart. Isn't that gorgeous? And I want that on this one, this beauty. This is chrome powder on, you know, let me turn on my chrome powder on uh, the glue. And it's a shift, so you get this full, see the red, orange, purple, blue? It's nuts. This rock is, in, it's awesome. Anyways, and then you resin right over the top of it, and you can even embellish it more. Like, uh, let's see, I have a gold pen. So, you can add some dots, maybe. It doesn't have to be anything, you know, crazy or intricate, just something to dress up your beautiful backgrounds that are ready to go. They just needed some TLC from you. So you can put some polka dots and then maybe Do pretty swirly. You can use rhinestones or whatever to embellish your background. I am using a Signo gel pen. And this is gold. It's a broad pen. Uniball Signo broad. Oops. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Not very well, huh? Oh, there you go. That's what we look like. So that came silver, gold, and white in a pack from Walmart. And then I got black pack, which is, oops, Signo UM153. This is from Amazon. And I also got these, Signo Uniball, and I think these are Angel series, or Angelic, Signo Angelic color. Anyways, these are good. So we've got this love done and this heart to heart done and you can put um, like heart and then put a two over here to make it like two heart, you know, heart to heart. Heart to heart. 
Hopefully people will get that, yeah. And then I have this rock and I didn't know what to do with it, but I have this cute bottle, right? And it's kind of clear. So I was thinking like a bobbing message in a bottle type deal maybe. It might be too big for my rock, but bummer. Let me see if I can do it sideways. That might work. Yeah, like it's floating sideways, bobbing around. Bobble, wobble. Maybe not. Let's see, what else could we put on there? It's all about you, good time, always in my heart. Cool, what are we gonna put on this one? Seek the magic every day. I like that one. Pretty cool. Might be too busy, huh? No worries. There we go. Seek the magic every day. Pretty easy, again. All right, so you have tons of stickers to choose from, from the Dollar Tree. They have rub-on transfers. This is a patriotic one. If you wanna do some 4th of July coming up, here's some paper stickers. Um, they're puffy, you know, like layered, so you can tear them apart and use both layers. It's a pretty butterfly, actually. I like it a lot. Here's some more Victorian-ish style. I love that clock. And I think I'm gonna use this hope here. Isn't that pretty? So you can take the whole sticker and use it, or you can tear it apart like I'm going to do, and then save the one part, and take off the puffiness, the puffy sticker that's on the back, oh, No, or you can leave it on there, but I'm going to take it off. And you can do hope and you can add another sticker of some sort if you wanted or a rub on transfer. I have some beautiful butterflies somewhere. There they are. Those gorgeous. So you can take these and separate them as well. They're double layered or you could leave them double layered. I like this guy. I'm just going to pull the one off the top and put this guy on here like so even though he's got a sticky center that's okay and then now you've got this transparent one you can use on another rock um you can sorry about the bounce i kind of messed up the body a bit you can color that back in with a pen or Paintbrush. And then maybe write out a pretty little thing to say. The 
Hope lives here, maybe. So when you're doing your hand lettering, you kind of thick on the down and thin on the up is sort of the rule. Although these pens I picked up, Signos are wonderful, but I picked up the broad, so they're a little bit thicker than the 153s are. So it's a bit harder to get that thinner part of the letter when you need it. Hope lives here. And then you can glue it together. So I gotta get more of that off of there. Anyhow. Since I'm gonna be doing resin in a little bit, I'm just gonna leave this like this. I haven't got my resin set up yet, so. But that's some ideas there, guys. See how quick you did just a few? Just some simple little backgrounds. Well, that's it. That's all I got. Just a quick tip for the day. So if you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit subscribe and uh, like and hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload more content. And uh, if you have any suggestions or comments, go ahead and leave those down below as well. Thank you very much, and I'll see you soon.